How you guys doing? Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I am going to try to show you a couple of books that I've picked up over the last few weeks from my local comic shop. And I'll also show you a book that I picked up from a guy that I buy from uh, on a regular, somewhat regular basis. Um, met up with him the other day in the parking lot of Costco and uh, picked up one book from him uh, out of the many that he was, was carrying um, just because it was the one that I was interested in. Um, so let's go ahead and look at that book first and then I'll show you the other books that I've picked up, I think kind of sort of over like the last two weeks or so. Um, and I think I mentioned to you guys, I haven't been buying as much as of late um, because of some recent relatively large purchases. I've been taking a little bit of a break from buying uh, and I've been doing a lot more selling of books on eBay and also Instagram. So um, not a whole lot to show you guys, but I picked up this book from the guy again in the parking lot of Costco. Uh, it's X-Men Annual number 14. Uh, it's part of the Days of Future Present storyline. And this is actually the first uh, cameo appearance of Gambit. And if you watched my last haul video, you actually saw the, the full appearance of Gambit where he's also on the cover, but this is actually the, his cameo appearance. So it's a pretty nice book. It doesn't, uh, didn't come with a uh, board, but um, which made it easy for me to, to look at the back of the book and make sure that there was no damage back there. But I picked this book up from him and what's funny is I made him an offer on the book and he made a different offer back to me. And the way that we came to terms on the price is we literally flipped the coin in the parking lot of Costco. And uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of talking about numbers, it's just not really my thing, but we basically flipped the coin and I won. And then as I went to go move the coin from underneath the car to where he could see it, the coin flipped over. So we flipped again. And then I lost. So I ended up paying uh, more for the book than I wanted to pay, but certainly less than what the book is actually worth. So um, it was a nice way to kind of settle things, just kind of flip a coin. It was, a, you know, it's one of those uh, things you can do as gentlemen. You know, when you have two sensible parties having a conversation, there's a slight disagreement, you resolve it, you shake hands, you move on. And I'll probably continue buying from this guy because um, I bought a, a, a lot of books from him um, in the last couple of months. So the next uh, round of books that I wanna show you are ones that I picked up from my local comic shop. I have yet to read them. Um, they've been kind of sitting on a shelf. So I'm hoping to be able to read them this weekend, but we'll see. Uh, first up is the Avengers number one. This is the, uh, I guess, the reboot of the Avengers series. And so I was able to, uh, to grab number one. I picked up the variant. It's a pretty nice variant. I also picked up the Young Guns variant, which is pretty nice. I, I kind of like this Young Gun style. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And then I also picked up my very first, my very first blank cover. So it's Avengers number one uh, blank cover. And uh, when when I went to the shop to get the books, he, he handed me my stack and I kind of flipped through it. And uh, then I saw this and I was tempted to give it back, but I decided to go ahead and keep it. Maybe, maybe at some point I'll, I'll do a sketch uh, or have a sketch done. I know a lot of people really like the blank covers, um, I just never quite understood it because I guess I didn't go to a lot of cons and uh, have an opportunity for people to, uh, to, to, to draw a sketch or whatever for me. But that was in the stack, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then as you'll see, I kind of continued that theme uh, this week. So I picked up number uh, 300 of Despicable Deadpool. Pretty nice, uh, nice cover for, I think this is the end of the Despicable Deadpool series, I think. Um, you guys tell me. And then I also picked up the variant edition. I think this one's really cool. It's kind of, I think it's a wraparound cover. I think it's like the Where's, Where's Waldo um, style. Um, so I think this was a, a cool cover, right? I don't know who the artist is, but I, th I thought this was kind of fun, kind of fun. And then again, sticking to the theme, got the blank cover of uh, Despicable Deadpool. All right, next up is uh, I think a book that I think was uh, a, a very much anticipated book. 
um, because of uh, what happened with um, the Thanos run. Uh, Donny Gates. Gates, right? Gates. Donny Gates. Uh, Venom number one. So I'm actually looking forward to, uh, to reading this. I started to read it last night, but I, um, I got home from the gym kind of late. I was around, uh, around 11.30 or so when I came in from the gym and I tried to read this and it was just too late and I ended up just jumping in bed. So I'll try to read that again, uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow. I picked up the blank cover. This will probably be the last blank cover I buy, to be honest with you, but I picked that up. And then I also got the Young Guns variant as well. It's kind of a cool cover, right? So something interesting happened to me. Um, I somehow got the attention of a very popular YouTuber on, um, on YouTube and uh, I was watching his videos and he kind of ignited a fire in me because of the video that he recorded. And in this video, he was kind of talking about as content creators, uh, we owe something to those that watch our videos. We, we owe them um, information, we owe them entertainment, we owe them a response if they, if they ask a question or make a comment. And so, you know, he, he kind of pointed out some things that I was guilty of, some, some things that were a little lazy that I was doing on a daily basis. Um, and if, if you've ever commented on one of my videos, you know that I pretty much comment or, or give you a thumbs up or like or whatever it happens to be. So it wasn't that, but it was more along the lines of just things that I could do to make my channel better. And this started out months ago as something that I was just kind of doing for fun. I was just, you know, I would turn the camera on, I would talk to the camera, and then I would just post the video up. You know, no editing. I wouldn't even go back and watch many of these videos. And and last night he kind of, you know, his his message spoke to me around the long along the lines of, we should be doing more um, to give back to this community. We should be doing more to say thank you to those that subscribe to the channel and that watch the videos and make the comments. And as a result of what he said to me, I actually started to try to step my game up. And uh, you probably noticed that there was like, there's new thumbnails that are popping up on my channel. Um, there's a reason for that. Uh, what's funny though, is that earlier in that day, um, I actually started to do some work around some other ways to enhance my channel um, that you'll probably see relatively soon if, if all goes according to plan. Um, but it just, it, it was just, it was, it was, it was a moment where it was hard for me to listen to the advice and of what this guy was saying, not, not necessarily to me, but, but it spoke to me um, because I was guilty of many of these things he was pointing out. And so you have my commitment that I'm going to try to do better, uh, to say thank you for the subscriptions, to say thank you for the comments and the likes, um, and you both here uh, on YouTube and also on Instagram. So um, certainly, you know, in, in that spirit, what I'll say is, um, I've been trying to give back to the community in terms of like the videos that I've been making around uh, comic book lingo, right? There's two parts of it already. I, I want to start working on part three because I think that some people have found it helpful. So I'm going to try to work on that. But, but where I was going was that um, you have my commitment that I'm going to continue trying to do better, that I will continue trying to put out uh, content um, that you find entertaining or informative. Um, and, if, and if you find that I'm not, then I would ask you to hold me accountable, to, to say something and to, um, to point me back in the direction. As always, I want to say thank you to those of you that have watched this video. I want to say thank you if you left a comment, if you gave me a thumbs up. I absolutely do appreciate you. Have a good one, guys. Take care.